Today's lesson will be how to make these really cute Christmas stockings. They are only quite small as they only have three rounds to the granny square. I'm sure you could adjust the size of these by adding more rounds to the granny square. So if you haven't joined us already, we are also on Facebook and Ravelry. We have a great community on both of those pages and it's a great place to ask questions if you ever get stuck on a pattern. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I will have more videos coming up. I do try to get one video and lesson each week. So thank you for watching my video and let's get started on the lesson. First of all we want to start with the first two rounds of a granny square. If you don't know how to do this I will put in a video here so that you can follow these videos to make the first two rounds of your granny square. And you can make it however you like. You can follow my video or make it how you normally do your granny squares. So what you want to do is grab your third colour and then we're going to start the third round. So grabbing your colour that you want to use, you want to find the right side of the granny square and we're going to join the yarn into the corner. So putting your hook through the corner space that we have there grabbing the end of your yarn and mine's actually just recycled from another project that's why it looks like noodles it's all curly so we're just going to loop your yarn over the hook and pulling through we're going to do a slip stitch to join just pull down on the short piece at the back just to secure that yarn in there and then you're going to chain three. We're going to do two more double crochets into the corner. And then if you do a chain two in the corner or a chain one, do that. So you repeat what you did on when you normally do a granny square. Then you're going to put the remaining three into corner so it's going to look like that you've got your chain space and your three on either side please excuse my voice today if you can notice it's a little bit croaky I've had a sore throat last week so there wasn't any tutorials so just bear with me. You probably won't even notice it that much hopefully. So into this next space here we want to work 12 double crochets. That's right, 12 double crochets. So if you normally chain one in between your sets on the straight part you can do your normal chain one. I don't so I'm going to leave it out. So working 12 into here one, so it's all double crochet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you might have to squash them along we're up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Oh, a little more bunched up in there. And this is creating the toe part of our little stocking that we're making. So now we just want to continue on with our granny square like we would as normal. So now we're going to put a corner in here because this is our corner. So that's if you do a normal chain one, do a chain one. If not, don't worry. I'm not going to because I don't normally. My tension is quite loose so I don't need to. So that's one. So we're going to do three to get all together into this space. That's one, two, 
and three and a chain one or two whatever you do in the corner and then you want to put your three remaining stitches in there three double crochets if you do your chain excuse me <coughs> if you do a chain one that is in between your bit your three into the base there do your chain one like I said I don't because I have quite loose tension and I don't need to so it's working the three double crochets you would do a chain one if you normally do I don't so going into the corner we've already working our corner space so if you've made a granny square before this part is is quite easy basically the same the only difference is the 12 stitches that are on there so I'm chaining two in the corner sometimes I just coax those three around so it's on that on this side of the square I find it gives it nice squared off corners and helps with that twisting effect if anyone knows what I'm talking about that sometimes happens in the middle of granny squares when you make them so now we're doing our three double crochets into the space there because we're on our straight part now we're in our corner so we want to work our corner it's one two and three chaining two back into the same space because we're working our corner one, two, and three. And now we've just got that one space left, so we're just going to work our three double crochets into that space. And then we're going to slip stitch into the third chain. So We have one, two, and three. And then I just do a chain stitch and then pull out and pull tight, and that secures that off there. So now we have this really weird looking granny square, don't we? It's got this big bulge on the side there. So, what you need to do is have the good side facing you. And fold it in half and there we have the toe of our stocking so now what we need to do is we're leaving this part open because that is where we put our little prizes or goodies or lollies in there and then we want to stitch up this part here so grabbing your color I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but this isn't actually a green that we're using. Well, I'm using. It's more of a teal colour. But that's okay. It's great for using up scraps. So what we want to do is join our yarn on the top of our stocking. This is the toe part where all those double crochets are in that one stitch. So you're just folding it over, making sure your nice side is on the outside. This is what the nice side looks like, and then the back side looks like that. See how it's, I don't know, it's kind of wrinkly, I guess. And this side isn't wrinkly, it's nice. That was a really good explanation, wasn't it? <laughs> wrinkly and nice side. So that's the back that's the front. So grabbing your colour, whichever you preference, we're just going to, so we're looking at it like so, we're just going to flip it so it's that way because we want to work across the top and then down. So what we're going to do is join the yarn into the corner space that's here and also the corner space that's on the back. So you're putting those together and then you're going through the corner spaces of both of your pieces of work there. Grabbing your colour that you choose, just 
putting it over the top and pulling through. And then doing a chain to secure. What we're going to do is single crochet all the way around there. So doing a single crochet into that same space there, the, the chaining space on the corner, going into that hole, pulling up, and then pulling through too. So you know how to do a single crochet, so it's into the stitch. So you're going into the top of the next double crochet, and you're also going through the top of the back stitch as well. So just lining up your stitches, going through both layers. We're working, excuse me, <coughs> we're working a single crochet into all the stitches. And I was trying to get through this whole video without coughing, but I didn't work, did it? So if you've got a straggle here, or an end, you can work over the top of that one. Just laying that on the top of your work, like so, and then just working over it. So if you had a chain one space that's here, you can probably work a single crochet into that chain one space if there's too much of a bigger gap. If you don't have a really large gap, don't worry about it. So we're just making sure we're lining up the stitches. So now I'm up to my corner space, so we're going into the corner space. You're going to work three single crochets into there. Because if you do one, it, when you go around the corner it's going to pull it over and it'll be really tight and it won't lay flat because it doesn't have enough stitches in there to lay flat. So going into the top of the stitch and we're just continuing on and I'm just going to speed up a little bit until we get to the toe. And if you've worked over your straggler quite a, lo a lot, which I have, because I think it started around here somewhere, so I've worked over all that, you can actually cut that off, making sure it's only the tail, not your stitches. I've been there, done that. And you feel like you're going to cry because you've got to start again. So going into the toe stitch, And then going into the end one, if you've got one, you want to chain one, and we're going to go back and work back along this part that we just did. So this bit's easy. We're just doing one single crochet into each single crochet. So I'm just going to speed up because I'm sure you know how to do this. Just one in each stitch and every stitch around. When you come to the center stitch of your three here, just put two in there, making sure, you can add three if you like, making sure that it just lays flat as you go along. So let's see if that's laying flat. Yep, see it's laying flat. If it, if it was curled up like that, you need to add another stitch. If it's starting to go wavy, take out one of the stitches that you just put in just then. Oops. Going all the way to the end. So when we get to the end, now we want to make our little chain loop that we can hang it up with. 
So we're at the end. You want to make a chain. So I'm going to try 10. You can try however many you like. And I'm going to loop it back down. And let's see if this loop's big enough. Let's just zoom it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to sew this down to the corner here. So I think that's quite long enough. Might just add two more. Yeah, I think that's long enough, isn't it, guys? It's only going to hang on something. Yeah, I think that's good. So when you get to the end, cut off your yarn. One is already cut off because I'm just using scraps. Pull up your loop. Grabbing your sewing needle. And then what you want to do is just sew this end down into here so that it connects up to the bottom of the chain loop. So that you've got this cool little loop there. And then just put in a few stitches. To secure it into place. I'm just going to go back through that loop to make a little knot to secure it and then I'm going to sew in my ends and it's finished. To sew in your ends you just put your needle under a few of the stitches and then pull through and then your ends have been sewn away. Just snip it off so it's nice and neat. And that's it. So I just needed to do one more. And we're done. So that was quite a quick and great project to do with lots of scraps. Very quick too if you need to make a little I don't know, thank you gift or something for the little for your kids craft fairs that they have to raise money for the school. Also great to hang on the Christmas tree. Something that you've made and wasn't mass produced. So there we go. So if you're making this in time for Christmas I hope you do have a very safe and happy Christmas time. If you don't believe in Christmas, I hope you just enjoy this time of the year. Until next time, happy crochet.